Hey guys, so this is actually day six of my uh, photo shoot challenge, but today we're actually going to take a second look at those uh, model pictures from Katie. Um, there were just so many yesterday. Today I want to go into a little bit more detail about how to edit uh, the photos. I'm using Lightroom CC, the mobile version. I'll be using it on my iPad Pro, so definitely stay tuned if you want to check that out. Uh, it's all about the model, different pictures, different lighting, and uh, how to adjust all that in uh, Photoshop and Lightroom CC. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're actually going to take a look at these uh, Katie uh, pictures again. Uh, the model shoot I did yesterday, it actually went pretty well. So today I think we're just going to look at probably one or two pictures, uh, just depending on how much time we have. Um, but the first picture we're actually going to look at is this one right here. Um, this is actually taken under a bridge. It actually turned out pretty well. I love the lighting in this picture. Uh, here's my settings up here in the top left hand corner. Uh, if you want to look at those, you can see all the settings I used to take this picture. It was pretty dark under this bridge, pretty low lighting, um, so I'm glad that my uh, the picture turned out as well as it did. So, um, so this is Lightroom CC, the mobile version. Um, as you can see over here, we have uh, your regular settings, uh, you know, light, color, different effects, detail, um, and all sorts of things over here. Uh, the second dot here, we have a few presets. Uh, we got matte, vivid, uh, punchy detail, high contrast, bright, natural. We got all those there. Uh, on our third options, we we can uh, you know change the crop of the picture if we want a little more cut in, which we might end up doing. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Don't really have any plans yet. Let's cancel that. Um, our third option here is actually pretty cool. Um, this option we can use um, to color her in. So let's say uh, we'll undo that real fast. Let's say we just want to. Oh, uh, one sec. Let me grab this up here. This pen. Uh, let's say we just want to color in her face. So we can use this tool to color in her face right here. That's just do her whole body. Just real fast here, we'll color that in. And so this, we have the option to uh, just change uh, the contrast of her. Whatever part we colored in, um, we have the option there to change all the settings that you would normally be able to change. So let's go ahead and cancel that and uh, get right into the picture here. So we normally, uh, I don't start with a preset, but sometimes I do just, I'll put that as a basis and then go from there, but none of these I really see are standing out to me as uh, anything good. I usually like a good matte look, but it's pretty dark for this picture, so we'll see how that goes. So I'll cancel that for now, and we'll just go right into our light settings here. Um, I have the uh, the Apple Pen for the iPad Pro, so it's really easy for me to just adjust small details on here. Uh, if I want to increase the exposure or turn it down a little bit. I don't know, I just play around with it a little bit to uh, get the right settings. Uh, I usually increase the contrast quite a bit. It's pretty dark under this bridge, so I don't want to do it too much here. I'll increase the highlights on her. We'll uh, bring up the shadows just so we can see a little bit more under the bridge. Uh, we'll take down the whites, maybe just a little bit here. And the blacks, we'll uh, take those down a little bit. It's a little much. Okay, so that's got a good feel to it so far. You can see her face is pretty clear. Um, I love this picture. I think it just turned out really well, so I'm excited about it. Um, okay, let's um, go into color here. Let's. I really want to make her jacket pop a little bit more, maybe the color around her. So we'll turn up the uh, saturation just a little bit. Not too much, though. And uh, the vibrance will go up a few points on that as well. As you can see, that brightened up her jacket quite a bit there. Um, kind of the colors around her too, but maybe we'll go back in and dim those uh, later on. So this is looking pretty good so far. Uh, I don't normally do any effects or clarity, and I don't normally do detail either. Um, something I will do though is, uh, like I said, use this uh, fourth tool down here. So maybe this pillar is a little bright. Um, we can go in here and uh, change the size of our brush. A little bit bigger. It's on 100% hardness, so we can go in here, maybe just color in this pillar a little bit, and uh, darken it a little bit. Color up here as well. Okay, that's so it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just kind of guessing a little bit, but let's turn down the uh, saturation on these. Just a little bit, just so that she stands out from the background a little bit more. 
might even take the exposure down just so they're a little bit darker and she pops out a little bit more here see and that definitely darkened the uh, outside of that for well, really well uh, she looks still pretty good in there in that picture um, that's probably I mean I might do a little bit more but that's pretty much the base of the picture right there let's hit done here down at the bottom um, let's bring up uh, I can't the original picture we can uh, if we hold down we can actually see the original image and you can see what it looks like now so definitely made her her face a little bit brighter the background a little bit darker popped her jacket out a little bit and uh, it increased the exposure which uh, made the background solid white back there instead of you know you can kind of see a little bit now it's just completely dark so there's the original right there there's what we did to enhance it nothing too much you know we didn't want to completely ruin the picture with a lot of editing I think this is just enough to uh, definitely make it look a little bit better so that's the first image here um, let's go ahead and take a look at one other picture um, probably this one uh, oh actually this one I did <laughs> I was messing around with the settings earlier to uh, show uh, I think I was talking to my uncle about this so let's reset all these real fast here um, Okay, I think that's pretty much all set back to normal. Um, so this one, let's go ahead and start with the preset. Let's start with matte. Um, I think this just all automatically adds a pretty good look. I like the matte look. This might not be the final one, but just for editing on uh, Lightroom, I'll show you some basics here. So when you select a preset like that, you can see all the options it has put on here for you already. And you can go back and adjust these. So let's say we want the shadows a little bit higher. Or maybe we want the shadows a little bit darker, um, which also looks, you know, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we can increase the highlights, we can decrease them, uh, increase the contrast, you know, just really edit this as much as you want to do here. Uh, let's go back to the colors. Maybe we want to increase the saturation a little bit, make her jacket really pop there. And basically, you know, that's, that's what you can do with the presets. Um, you can start off with them, you can change them later on, maybe you want to increase the vibrance, still take down the saturation a little bit, still have that uh, that matte look to it, so. But like I said, you never want to take these too far or not far enough, you know, there's kind of a happy medium for all your options here. I like this picture, I like how it turns out, like I said, I might go back and do a little bit more settings and changing. It's all just on how you like the picture, how you want to change it. There's not a wrong answer, you can edit the picture however you want, uh, like I said, I have all these pictures, so another cool thing with this is, so let's say we uh, we finish this picture, or actually this, uh, let's go back to this one right here. So you can go up to here and you can hit copy settings. And this is going to copy all the settings that you've set for this picture. So maybe you want to go to this picture, the one next to it, shot in the same light basically, uh, a little different angle, but you can uh, paste all your settings onto this picture. So that way you don't have to redo everything again or guess on the settings you can throw that same setting onto all your pictures. So now they have the exact same settings on them, they have the exact same look. So your whole photo shoot is gonna have the same look here. So we can paste these that setting on all the images. Like I said, it might be a little heavy for this one because the lighting's a little bit different here, but it still looks pretty good if you zoom in here. Um, really good, clear, clear picture of your model. So if you have any questions, definitely comment down below. Uh, I, I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you like the video, leave a like and uh, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I will uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.